What you looking for, bud? <laughs> looking for some snacks? <laughs> and Max here and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. Yes, so Max, you just got up from a nap. We are all hungry and we're gonna look for some snacks, maybe make some snacks. So we thought, why don't we just get out the camera and do some vegan snacks for you guys. Right, so we are gonna be sharing with you guys our top seven homemade whole food vegan snacks as well as our top seven pretty darn clean store-bought snacks. So <laughs> get ready. If you've got the munchies, get ready because you're going to like this one. Coming at you now. All right, you guys. So Max is seriously hungry for his snack. So we're going to give you our bonus snack first. First thing up front. So he loves drinking smoothies and to make them baby friendly, I usually just try to incorporate a veggie, a fruit and a fat. So this one has some bananas and mango and pineapple, as well as some kale and chia. So let's jump right into our top seven now. So our number one at home, homemade healthy vegan snack is hummus. So we have a link below to our oil-free hummus recipe, but hummus is great in, on, dipped with everything. So here we've got our hummus and veggie platter. Almost every night at dinner, I have got fresh cut carrots and I am dipping in my favorite hummus. So you can find these in the store, but you can just as easily make your own with chickpeas, tahini, lemon, and a few spices. So hummus for the win. You can also slather on sandwiches and wraps and it is delicious. It'll satisfy those salty and smooth and creamy cravings. Moving on, healthy snack number two is one of my personal favorites, dates. So these in particular are amazing. They are from a website called sevenhotdates.com. Check them out. So these are amazing. Dates are 100% nature's candy. So fun fact is if you eat six dates a day towards the end of your pregnancy in third trimester, it is said that it can help ease labor pains. I did it because again, nature's candy. Why not? <laughs> Ever since then, I have been hooked. So dates are extremely versatile. For one, you can eat them as is. I like to pit them and simply drop them in the freezer and they taste really good and chewy that way. So that'll be like a healthy after dinner snack. Or you can use them in baked goods. I have been baking up a storm lately. Muffins, cookies, you name it. It is the fantastic alternative to refined sugars. So right here, I actually have some vanilla date frosting or icing, which is perfect for dipping fruit in or putting on your cupcakes and muffins. So dates number two for the win. So one of our favorite snacks that is mom and dad friendly, but not baby friendly, unfortunately, is popcorn. It is corn, so it's always organic. This is even local. This is white corn kernel and we love it. You can go salty, you can go sweet, you can throw some vegan chocolate chips in there. We love popcorn so much. It's high fiber, low calorie, super healthy snack. We even take our own to the movies. So don't forget about popcorn. Now something that is family friendly and probably mine and Max's favorite is avocado. You can whip this, you can dice it, you can chop it, you can put it on salads. You can do my favorite thing, put it on toast. So we all love avocado toast, right? Max is getting it now. This is super baby friendly. Max could probably eat this whole avocado today and be perfectly fine. In fact, it's gonna be great for his brain. One of our family favorites is our chocomole recipe. We will link that below. You guys have got to check this out. Our next healthy vegan snack is simply fruit. Again, nature's candy. Max and I share a berry bowl almost every single day, but when the berries run dry around the house, 
There are plenty of other fruits that are always sitting on our countertops or hidden in the refrigerator. So I'm about to chop up a kiwi, nectarine, banana, grape, pineapple, and mystery fruit bowl. Dusty came home with this the other day from the grocery store. We are not entirely sure what it is, but it was organic, it looked enticing, and that's what fruit does. It just lures you in. It's bright, bold, vibrant, juicy, luscious, and delicious, so you can't go wrong with the fruit bowl. All right, I'm cutting into the mystery fruit. If any of you know what this is, let us know in the comments below. Wow, that is pretty awesome. It kind of has the texture of passion fruit, and also kind of like cucumber. It doesn't have a whole lot of sweetness to it. It's kind of mild, but really refreshing. Our next healthy vegan snack is nuts and seeds and nut butters. So we like to store our nuts and seeds in these reusable glass jars. So I've got some cashews here. We use those for all kinds of things, as well as hemp, chia, and flax. Great for those healthy omega-3 fatty acids. We also love nut butters. Dusty's a peanut butter guy. I'm an almond butter girl. These are great for smoothies, smoothie bowls, oatmeal. You can even put them on toast, one of Dusty's favorites. He'll touch more on that. <laughs> and our all-time favorite nut is the Baruka nut. So we are actually friends with the founder of the Baruka's company. His name is Darren Oleen. We met with him on our last trip out to California. So we'll have him tell you a little bit more about Baruka's, but from personal experience, I would say they taste similar to a combination of kind of like popcorn and kind of like a peanut crossed with an almond. They're extremely good, and the best thing is they're so much healthier than any other nut. They have more protein, more fiber, more antioxidants, and less fat than other nuts. So there's nothing not to love about Baruka's, and my personal favorite is the Baruka's Trail Mix because it has both the fruit, what's called the fruit, and this nut both included in here, and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the fruit. It's kind of like a dried shell on top of the nut, and it is actually really sweet, and there's no added sweetener, so it's incredible. I love to sprinkle this on top of my smoothie bowls. That's my favorite way to eat it and we always travel with our Baruka nuts. So Baruka's are also highly versatile. If you're noticing a trend here with all of our healthy vegan snacks, there are a million different ways to enjoy all of them. So like I said, smoothie bowls, you can also make nut butters and nut milks with these, a trail mix. Like I said, we don't go on a vacation without our Baruka's because they're just so good. They totally satisfy that sweet and salty craving all in one. The coolest thing about the Baruka nut is that they're extremely eco-friendly. So most nuts are grown on a plantation. Baruka's are found in the forest. They're what's considered a wild food. And Darren Aline and the team have even decided that for every five pounds of Baruka's purchased, a tree will be planted because these are coming from an area in the rainforest in Brazil that is becoming deforested at rapid rates. So what this company is doing is planting a tree for your purchases. So it's a great company to support and it also supports your health. It's a win-win. Now we're gonna rattle off our top seven favorite store-bought vegan foods. These are the healthiest of the crop. I can tell you that. <laughs> so number one, if we're looking for something crunchy and salty like a cracker, we go for Mary's Gone Crackers. They're basically just seeds and spices. They're even oil-free, so we love Mary's Gone Crackers. So these crackers are very artisanal, if you can see. <laughs> as far as like an energy bar, we love Lara Bars because they're basically only like three to four ingredients, primarily dates and other fruits and some nuts. We love dark chocolate. This would be our go-to for dark chocolate. We usually go for 80%, sometimes 88%. Dried fruit, we love dried mango. We don't have any right now because Dusty just finished the bag, but we also always have dried white mulberries and goji berries on hand. These are great for topping your nice cream bowls with. Next up would be a good cereal to snack on. Again, if you're craving something crunchy, our go-to is Nature's Path Organic Mesa Sunrise. It's full of all healthy whole grains and it's gluten-free. We love to just munch on it as a dessert or top it on our nice cream bowls. And we also love these brown rice organic rice cakes. These are a low calorie snack. 
Most of the time we'll just grab and go if we are gonna go on a walk with Max. We'll grab one of these, maybe put some almond butter Yay. or some hummus on top. Like I said earlier, one of my favorite snacks is toast. So a packaged good is a bread. I do eat a lot of bread much more so than Aaron, I just love it. So I'm always making a toast, whether it's a nut butter toast, avo toast, and I like Ezekiel bread. So we buy it at most, most any grocery store in the frozen aisle. We put it in the freezer when we get home and it lasts weeks, because sometimes it does take a while for me to finish a loaf of bread. So anyway, we love this Ezekiel bread. Super good, super healthy, and you can top it with just about anything. And our favorite healthy vegan snack video would not be complete without including our fur baby Bo's favorite snacks. So you guys know we love V-Dog. We've got these peanut butter bites and his all-time favorite, the breath bones. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna give him one of each because it's a snack day. Good boy. Good boy, now he wants back out. actually burned down in the Malibu the fires that happened when was that last, last year? year just yeah. last year he was away I think filming somewhere in a different country and his house burned down so he's now living in a yurt we get to meet his German Shepherd and he'll get to meet Mr. Max <laughs> you guys we were joking the other day he's like Sadly. not calling him dad though <laughs> Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome or welcome back to our channel. We are sitting here with Darren Oleen. So we're gonna tell you guys a little bit about our favorite healthy hey. vegan snack, <laughs> the Barucas. You wanna see different. this, talk about experiments. This is all the, this is, this is the, oh. this is the fruit. No way. This is fruit chips. Max is ready, so, so check this out, this is, that's this is the what's thing. in the wow. wild, right? Wow. So, so there's just one of these inside of each one. If of you guys can hear this, yeah, it's one nut per fruit, and the funny this thing is, is what's inside. yep. Yeah. And then on the outside, is it's that it's this shell. kind of bark-looking fruit that we dehydrated. Yeah. And here's the funny thing is when we were in Brazil. Yeah. I saw one that we just picked. It has to fall yeah. first before you can't do it early. You can't pick it. No, because yeah. it's not matured inside. So that's a great thing. Wild right. food falls, falls, they can go out and just naturally gather it. Yeah. Right. So we got some fresh ones and a guy, Sargum, who works with us now in Brazil, he pulled out from the warehouse one five years old and it looked exactly the same and i was like yeah. that's a fruit layer that's not breaking down right it's still good what is going on with that fruit layer so i jumped in the car and i started shaving it with a knife yeah and brought it back to the states we did all the nutritionals um and sure enough high fiber, high antioxidants, all these high, all these wonderful and actually prebiotic activity. Mm -hmm. And so dehydrated it and we tasted it. It was like, this is amazing. Candy. Yeah, it is. It really is. It's and crazy. And so when you add that fruit with high nutrients and antioxidants with the nut, which is the most superior nut nutritionally right. than we've ever seen on the planet right to this day ridiculously high in antioxidants yep. lower in fat than most other nuts if people are watching their fat high exactly. in fiber. yeah super high in protein yep and yeah this is the perfect combo of like savory and sweet that's yeah. why i love it <laughs> it's crunchy it kind of tastes like a peanut and an almond and on top of it, the other bucket that it hit, so number one, taste mm -hmm. blew me away. Number two, the nutritional profile that we saw in the research and then we validated it ourselves and tested it. Mm -hmm. And every category, it was superior than any nut. So then we were like, whoa, that's incredible. To deliver that nut right. nutrients with the taste, 
Mm-hmm. Was it's, a like, no, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. <laughs> then we had two other buckets that were extremely important to us, and that is getting the jobs, getting fair wages to the people of the Savannah. Yeah. Because right? they really need it. And we've been there. We've looked into their eyes. We've created infrastructure so that we announce the prices so no one can undercut them. Right. Um, so they know what it is. We And we say to them, you gather as much as you want mm -hmm. and we will buy everything you gather at this price, this fair price for the next 20 years. That's wow. pretty awesome. So we create solidity and the only mm -hmm. way you have to do that is what you say you're going to do, you do. Yeah. Right. Right. And then the other bucket that became extremely important to us, and we now know the Amazon is getting the crap beat out of it mm -hmm. right now with yeah, 70, 73,000 fires and intentionally started oh, to, to mm -hmm. increase the um, cattle uh, production. And here's the thing. The Sahadu is, is being destroyed faster than the Amazon. It has been for the past 40 years. And so when we were there, we saw it. And I, there was a few times I was in tears mm -hmm. with just annihilation of it right in your face. And so for us to be able to provide the jobs, create value back in the indigenous land, mm -hmm. and then plant Barozeta trees back and give them back to the people so that yeah. they can start planting these trees again mm -hmm. these trees are very important to the region because they're nitrogen fixers okay. so they supply nitrogen from the air through the microbiome of their root systems and then supply nitrogen for all these other plants mm -hmm. so they're an anchor to the sahadu so now for every five pounds we sell we plant a tree nice. yeah that's that's definitely like the coolest aspect of it is you're getting you know, jobs you're, you're helping this community, sustaining them, and reforest, reforestation. And I think that's the way we need to do that as, mm -hmm. as companies because there's just far too much destruction that's going on if you don't figure out the right balance for almost any company, and especially mm -hmm. a food company, um, to be able to provide something to, to you and your followers and the next people and the next generations and, <laughs> right. and knowing that hey their vote their hard-earned money is going to not only get the nutrition that they need mm -hmm. and they require on a maximum level with these but that money is investing in and allowing us to plant those trees to make use of that money in a much better way than mm -hmm. just taking all the profits and yeah. you know, pushing right. our bottom line. So. Right. Oh boy, <laughs> you're getting big. <laughs> all right, you guys, if you like this healthy vegan snack video, give it a thumbs up. Join us here at the Eat, Move, Rest fam and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and make sure you've got that bell click to turn on your notifications. As always, leave us some comments, leave us some love below, and follow Dusty and I daily at DB Stanzik and at Aaron Stanzik on Instagram. We'll see you guys next time. Eat, move, rest, your best. Bye, guys! Bye. <laughs>